is happening, guys. Today, today, we are gonna be replacing this guy right here. So this is the M Performance spoiler, trunk lid spoiler. And we are going to the high kick. So this is high kick spoiler by ECS Tuning. How rude of me, I didn't even say good morning. Hello, how are you guys doing? I hope you are having a wonderful day. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Today we are installing the high kick carbon fiber spoiler by ECS Tuning. This, I like this spoiler, I like this spoiler a lot. So you guys already know I have a lot of spoilers. I have a lot of different like trunk lid spoilers and then I have my wing, my GTS wing, which I still have. I get a lot of questions, where's the wing? It's on my other trunk. So I actually swap the trunks back and forth. Whenever I want the wing, I just put on a different trunk. And whenever I want like a lip spoiler, I just put on my other trunk that has the lip spoiler. So right now I'm rocking the M Performance one a bit. I've had it on for a little bit. I took off the PSM because I wanted something a little bit different. The M Performance is, is cool. It's very, very subtle. Uh, a little too subtle for my build because I have a lot going on. And it doesn't really fit the aggression of the entire car. It's, it's The back just felt like it was kind of missing something so a few months back I did a feature film on uh, my buddy Victor's M5 he had an F90 M5 and he had a really interesting carbon fiber trunk lid spoiler and it was the same one it was a high kick spoiler I could not find anyone that made I thought I pretty much had all of the trunk lid spoilers that were made for this car but someone one of you guys sent me a DM on Instagram and said hey have you seen this and it was the high kick spoiler identical to the F90 and I immediately grabbed it. I reached out to my guys at ECS Tuning, said, hey, I want this, send one out to me. So here we are today, and I have it in front of me, and I do have to say it's, it's gorgeous, man. The, the carbon fiber is really, really pretty. Also, I get a lot of carbon, I order, I buy a lot of carbon fiber parts. I do have to say, this shipped to me in two days after I bought it. I ordered it on Tuesday, today's Thursday, it arrived on Thursday, and it was packaged really well. So th these are things that I always like to talk about because when you're ordering products, especially carbon fiber, it's important to have someone who's shipping them out that, that packages that product really well. And I do have to say that ECS Tuning did a really good job on uh, packaging this and shipping it out fast to me. There was no way that this was gonna crack in mail. And that has happened to me a lot with carbon fiber products. I've received them and they just weren't packaged right and they've cracked or been damaged. So let me show you what we got here. So here is the trunk lid spoiler. And you can see, dude, it's chunky. Like it is chunky and it wraps around the trunk. I really, really like how aggressive this thing is. It's going to, uh, it's gonna be sick. It's gonna be super, super aggressive on the end of the car. And you can really see here how it wraps all the way around. This is all the way through carbon fiber. So really well made. It's a beautiful piece. I'm not even gonna lie. Like the thing is absolutely gorgeous. Can't wait to get it on the car. Tonight we'll go ahead and use my C quartz and ceramic coated overnight. Make sure this thing is super hydrophobic because I have to admit, I think this one is gonna be the winner. Um, I really like the style of the M Performance one, but I liked the girth and the height of the PSM one. I didn't love the pointy corners on the PSM one, and I think that this one is gonna be a good middle ground. It's got like the height and girth of the PSM, but it has the shape of the M Performance, which is pretty much exactly what I was looking for. So I think this one's gonna be a keeper for me, and then it'll really just be me going back and forth from the GTS wing trunk and this trunk with this uh, lip spoiler. Also, we have this from Souvenir. Anyone who is running a GTS style hood, this is a carbon fiber hydro dipped version of the vent. So you guys can set it in here, and you can see, I mean, it looks, it's not real carbon fiber, but it's hydro dipped and it looks really good. Like it looks really good for hydro dip carbon fiber. So that would go in there. If you guys have a GTS hood and you're interested in getting one of these, I'll have it linked down below. But it's pretty, it's pretty dope and I'm gonna run it. Um, I, gotta, I gotta make my block off plate here and I'm gonna have a separate video on how I do that. So a lot of people asking about it. But if you compare this hydro dip to real carbon fiber, I mean, dude, it looks pretty convincing. Like most people wouldn't even be able to tell. So pretty cool. You guys, when it comes to removing trunk lid spoilers, there are a few different methods to doing this. Um, what I have found that works the best, depending on how long it's been on there, you might need to apply some heat. I don't find that you always have to, but it does help to loosen up that adhesive, especially if you have one like this. Um, being that it wraps around like that, it's usually a lot more difficult to get off. Something like this that just sits on top is gonna be relatively easy. Uh, my, my PSM one wrapped around, so that was a, a big pain to get off. It also depends on how long it's been on there. Like the factory OEM ones are usually really, really on there. I saw that a bunch of you guys in the last video were mentioning that 
I don't need to use a rubber wheel and that I can just use some uh, Goo Gone. That does not work. It does not work. If you have very thick adhesive on there, you cannot reduce a ton of adhesive just by using Goo Gone. Goo Gone only works if there's a little bit of adhesive left. Any kind of cleaner or like isopropyl or alcohol or any kind of Goo Gone, anything like that, that only works if there's like remnants of the adhesive left. If you have taken off enough spoilers in your day, you know that sometimes the entire adhesive is left behind and you really can't just use like Goo Gone or 3M remover to get rid of that stuff. You need, you need to have something like this. And so I, I swear by having this rubber wheel, I mean, I don't know if we'll have to use it today. I've only had this on for a few weeks, so I don't think it's gonna be that bad. The way to get off any trunk lid spoiler. This is gonna be linked below. This is 30 pound test fishing line. Now, you make sure that you don't get something like 10 pound. Uh, that was what I had before and it doesn't work. It's way too thin, it just breaks. So 30 pound is a really, really strong fishing line. The key here when you're doing this is to make sure that you are lifting up when you have your fishing line. You wanna be lifting up and not down because if you're pushing down onto your trunk, you're gonna scratch your clear coat and your paint. So just be very mindful that when you're using this fishing line, go in small movements, applying pressure this way and up, not down. You will scratch your paint with this fishing line. So that's how we're gonna do it today. Uh, I might put a little bit of heat on it. I'm just gonna get started with it and see how sticky and how, how well this is on there. So yeah, you guys, if you are interested in this high kick spoiler, I will have it linked down below. As you guys will also see, there will be a link to the blog, a full install blog on how to install a trunk lid spoiler. You guys, make sure you check out the blog. I am really, really pumping out the blog content. I'm making everything that I've made into videos into written form on my blog, just to give some people a different form of content. Some people prefer to have it written rather than in video format. And it's a little bit easier to follow the written content because you're not rewinding the video to catch up on some things when you're trying to install something. You can just see it right Right there, it's got pictures and text. Super easy to follow. So I will have all of this stuff linked down below for you guys if you need it. Let's go ahead and jump into the install. This is a perfect example. So some of this is really, really thin and you'd be able to get it off with a, like a Goo Gone or alcohol, but some of this is very, very thick. And the only way to get it off is to roll it like that, right? So if you took your finger and you rolled all this out, you could do it, but it would take you a while and your finger would be killing you afterwards. You'd probably get a fat blister. The best way to do it. In my opinion, doing it like this is 10 times easier than trying to use your thumb to go across it or using like some Goo Gone or anything like that. Goo Gone will just not get the super thick stuff to come off. Also, do not sit in one area with that tool. You will burn your paint. You need to be moving around all the time. Uh, I find that on an angle is kind of the best way to do it. And you just pick it up as best as possible. It'll leave a bunch of rubber residue behind. It's basically an eraser. And then we'll go ahead and take some isopropyl alcohol, a rag, and just get off all of the remnants. If you need to, hop back on with the eraser tool. You can get some of that off. But um, yeah, that's it. And we'll go ahead and clean up this area. Obviously it just shoots eraser stuff everywhere. So be prepared to vacuum afterwards. <music> We are cleaned up, looks good, spotless. That is the way to go. Um, the new trunk spoiler from ECS comes with 3M. So we'll go ahead and actually cut each one in the middle and then leave a flap of red hanging off each side. And then we'll go ahead and position it right in the center and then we'll peel away each side. So the reason I do that is because I wanna get it centered on the car perfectly and then reveal the adhesive. So. We'll just have these kind of revealed here. We'll let these hang on each side and then position it on the car, get it exactly how we want, and then we'll go ahead and pull these out once we have it perfect. So 
So we've got it on here and you can see we got a little bit hanging out, a little bit hanging out. Just checking the gaps on each side, checking the gaps, I come over just a hair. So you're basically just making sure it's nice and centered and then it's fit well. And um, yeah, dude, this thing's dope. I like it. This thing is sick. So once you have it where you want it, you're gonna go ahead and just remove each piece and then hold down. I like to start on each side, 20 seconds in the middle, 20 seconds, just kind of move around, do 20 seconds per area and just uh, apply firm pressure and then you'll be good. Dude, I am feeling this. I am feeling this. It's like, it just fits the overall aggression. It's so tough to convey these kind of things on camera. Like the camera just doesn't do it justice. You have to see these cars in person because there's just so much carbon happening throughout this entire car that like as a package, aggressive carbon parts like this just work. But dude, look at how aggressive it is. I love it. So this for me, this is a keeper. Like this lip spoiler is definitely a keeper on this car with what I have going on. It just makes sense. The fitment is really good. Wraps around like that. Super clean on both sides. Man, I love it. It's also important to note you guys that I like to make a lot of videos on as many products as possible to show you guys what's out there and what's available for your cars. We will end up installing a lot of things on this car and future cars that may not be the final product, but at least I'm kind of giving you guys an idea of what you can put on your car because nobody has the same taste. Everyone has a different taste when it comes to their build. Some people like the CS, some people like the M Performance, some people like the High Kick, some people like the PSM, some people like the Wing. You can't please everyone. So I make these videos and I change up these parts so I can show people the options that we do have. So even if you don't like this one or you didn't like the wing or you didn't like the PSM, it's okay. We get it, we understand. Everyone has their own opinion. But allow people to appreciate some of these different modifications and some of these options that we have as BMW M2 or 2 Series or 3 Series or F30 owners so we can see what's out there and let them decide for themselves what they wanna put on their car. Me personally, this thing's dope, dude. I love the high kick spoiler. With everything that I have going on in my car, it just, it works. It just flows so well with this car. And ever since I did that feature film on my buddy's F90 M5, I just, I couldn't get that, that image out of my head of that spoiler. I was like, that's so unique, it's so different. It's got like the very square edges that I just really like on this car. I don't know, it looks, it looks really good. So tonight I'll go ahead and ceramic coat this, but I wanna take this out of the garage and give you guys some footage out there so I can show you what this looks like as a package. You need to see the car far away with everything going on. We'll put together a little edit and then I'll throw up some photos for you guys so you guys can kind of get an idea of the, just the vibe and the flow of this high kick with what I have going on. Three, two, one. <laughs> You guys so that is the high kick carbon fiber trunk lid spoiler by ECS tuning dude I think it looks absolutely amazing I hope you enjoyed that little edit they also make one for the f30 you'll see two links down below one for the f87 and one for the f30 go ahead and check them out if you're interested but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video please make sure that you guys check out the blog like I said before check out the blog lots of great stuff in there lots of good info lots of good installs but hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video found some value out of this please do consider subscribing comment down below like this video hit that bell notification and just like that this video is over and we're out peace